how much money you earn from YouTube Shorts. Is the topic of today's episode of The George Show, as introduced by Avienda, my daughter. Yes. Our 13-year-old first teenager. Let's get right into it. If you make videos with YouTube Shorts that have other people's content, like Shakira, then you make zero dollars. This is the same as on your YouTube channel, guys. If you upload TV or movie footage, you get demonetized. Same thing with shorts. So how do you make money on shorts that actually include your content? Well, there's four different layers of revenue shares, cuts. Start with the first one. Per country, let's say United States, all the money from YouTube shorts gets pooled and half of it goes to the music industry. If any YouTube short uses any music, half of the revenue for that short goes to the music label. Then from there, you get allocated the creator pool of which only 45% goes to you. So first music, then less than half of what's remaining goes to you per country. That's basically how it works. Here's the 45%. Now, normally we get 55% of all YouTube ad revenue. For some reason, YouTube felt they're gonna keep an extra 10% for YouTube shorts revenue. So YouTube gets the 55% and we keep as the creators only 45%. So I encourage you to read all this down there in the description below where we have a link to this YouTube help article that describes exactly how YouTube shorts monetization will work. But I can give you the short answer. It's gonna be far less than YouTube video advertising, like AdSense video ads running around your videos, simply because there are so many cuts and the music industry gets their cut and it's per country as a pool, not per short. And then you only get 45%, not 55% of everything remaining. So don't get your hopes up guys. It will be a new revenue stream starting February 1st, which is good, but it won't be much. Well, let's see, nothing is certain until we get to February 1st when YouTube turns on YouTube Shorts monetization for everybody who has enabled it. If you haven't enabled it, then you will get nothing no matter how many views your original shorts get. How do you make sure you've enabled your YouTube Shorts monetization? Well, click that eye to see this video behind me where I explain exactly what you need to do and where you need to click to enable YouTube Shorts monetization for your channel. So, I hope you found this helpful and I hope we'll all make lots of money on YouTube Shorts. And uh, what do you guys think? I know many of you are not fans of YouTube Shorts. You've said, if you see YouTube Shorts in your feed, you unsubscribe from that channel instantly. Come on guys, there's some good YouTube Shorts. I personally like only certain kinds of Shorts, which you can see on our Viki our heartbeat prototype, which is a video wiki at vi.ki, just click shorts. And these are my favorite shorts that I've recorded on Viki. And I'll play one for you. Elon Musk's unusual question that eliminates liars and bad employees. Roll it, Elon. How do you choose your team based on what? Well, um, I suppose honestly that it tends to be gut feel more than anything else. So when I interview somebody my interview question is always the same. It's always the it's same. Just, I said, tell me the story of your life and, and the decisions that you made along the way and why you made them. And, then if, and, it, and also tell me about some of the most difficult problems you worked on and how you solved them. That's the key right there. Tell me about the most difficult problems you've worked on and how you solved them. It's a great interview question because the people who really solved them know all the details and those that pretended to solve them, they can go maybe one level deep and then they get stuck, just as Elon says. And um, that, that, that question I think is very important because the people that really solved the problem, they know exactly how they solved it. They know the little details. And the people that pretended to solve the problem, they can maybe go one level and then they get stuck. And that's it, that's the YouTube short. And in the short, I also have a time code here at 24 seconds, if you click it. Tell me about the most difficult problems you worked on and Which jumps exactly them. to the key point of this short, in my opinion. This is called a heartbeat moment, guys, and soon you will be able to create them for 
your exciting moments, moments that matter to you. But for now, just go to vi.ki and see the moments that matter to me. And if you want to just see, see shorts, <laughs> the seashell by the seashore, you can uh, just go here. And this is one of my favorite from uh, Game of Thrones. And it's actually a spine chilling quote from Peter Baelish. Here it is. I've always wanted a ship. Now I want a dozen. Strange, isn't it? What is it? Or why is that? It doesn't matter what we want. Once we get it, we want something else. It does not matter what we want, because once we get it, we want something else. Very true. That's all about human nature. What we don't have is what we want, but once, once we get it, we want something else. So it doesn't even matter what we want because we'll always want something else. Right, guys? Are we never satisfied? I think some of us may be, but most of us, we just keep seeking for the next big thing. And what's our next big thing? That's heartbeat. We're doing the same thing. We build freedom. Then we created Freedom Games. It became successful. Now we're going to build Heartbeat as the world's memories. YouTube is the world's video library. Heartbeat is the world's memories, the moments that matter to you. And this is the prototype. Much more coming soon. All right, guys, I hope you'll enjoy Vicky. I hope you'll enjoy all the cool things we're going to build for you. Our dev teams are busy creating a clickless gallery, as well as a multiplayer word fall that you can all play together with me. I will challenge you to see if you can beat my typing speed. And we'll also be able to play cooperatively in a boss mode where you can fight together to beat a nasty boss in Wordfall, where it's all about the typing and how accurate you are, how fast you are. It'll be fun. And for the Clickless Gallery, you can already check it out at gallery.tm. This is an early prototype that I wrote 16 years ago where you can see the whole gallery in action, but we're gonna build this now where you can upload your photos, you can create your own folders, and you can use this concept of just hovering to see everything. If you wanna check your, out, check your table out in black or white, there it is, just hovering. Anyway, right click, you can see all the different functions, and I encourage you to try it out because this will soon be available for you to use for your own images once we build it as part of Heartbeat. All right, Freedom Family, this is the weekend now, and I'm gonna run with my family oh, to Ikea. Get, can we get us a good, um, and uh, Avi tells me the weekend is also a good artist band, which I had no idea. That's what uh, kids band, are for. <laughs> Just a band. That's what kids are for. They teach you things you don't even know. Sometimes it teaches you about yourself as well. Oh, I'm trying to connect. How about that? <laughs> Guys, this is actually Google Docs that I use to create my titles and someone just turned off my internet. <laughs> All right, who am I? I am your Papa George, George Sunpai, Obi-Wan George Nobi, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom family, has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom! for freedom and the freedom family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. All right, Freedom Family. Until the next episode, stay fit. I went to the gym today. Did you? In fact, I was the only one in my family who went to the gym today. It's a bit sad that my girls wanted to go with me. But that's okay. We'll go later. I spent an hour. I spent an hour. I got some sweat. I feel great. Did you go to the gym or at least get some exercise? If not, why not? I am a 47-year-old CEO of Freedom. And if I can get off my ass and go to the gym, so can you. Let me be your motivation. Abby's telling me I'm an old man. I may be getting old, but I'm also getting wiser, and I'm young at heart. That's the key. I feel young, and that's most important. All right, Freedom Family, until the next episode, I am George, and you've been watching. Transform. Yeah, rotate. Flip horizontal. I mean, this looks really strange. First of all, freedom is not reading correctly. Okay. And people will, it's backwards. <laughs> no, it's not, it's correct. Okay, here we go.
Transform, flip horizontal. Mm. Now we're talking. Freedom is correct. Very when important. I make YouTube videos, I'm flipping it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you're not making this YouTube video. All right. So do you want to do the introduction? I'm sure. All right. Let me just uh, start the recording. How much money you earn from YouTube Shorts? Is the topic of today's episode of The George Show as introduced by Avienda, my daughter. Yes. Our 13 year old first teenager. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.